Hey guys, what's up? It's Exuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to another anime which came out recently, just last year, and I think there are some rumors that there might be a second season, either this year or the next year, uh, but it's called Tomochan wa Onna no Ko, or Tomochan is a girl. And before I was actually, I, I actually started reading the manga, but I didn't really get too far into it. And then when it was announced that it was going to be broadcast, it was going to have an anime adaptation, and it came out last year. I just didn't have the time to actually watch it, but now I do. And so I'm going to be watching the first episode of Tomochan wa Onna no Ko. So if you guys have any idea of about this anime if you guys think i should continue watching this i mean i i, I some one of you guys actually mentioned tomo-chan while i was watching uh boku yaba so uh i think i think this has I, I think it's got some promise uh, i'm not sure if it's going to live up to the hype I'm not, I'm not even sure if it's actually that hyped but i'm excited for it because it's you know along the lines of romance comedy and I've read a little bit of the synopsis uh, of the plot. And yeah, I'm just excited to see how it goes. So yeah, this is episode one of Tomochan wa Onna no Ko. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Nice, nice graphics and art style. I'm not sure which studio is doing this. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't know I was actually going to start with a confession. Right out the bat. Yeah. Right. Yes. But this guy's so airheaded. Wait. <laughs> right. Of course, he's not going to think of it as a romantic confession. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty sure from what I read in the manga, I, I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty clear just from her uniform that she is a girl, but he doesn't see her as a girl at all, which is so weird. I mean, the premise itself is, is absurd, but I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe in his mind, he just is just kind of drowning it out, blocking it. Mm. Okay. Okay, for any of you who's, who've watched this or have read the manga, does he really honestly see her as a boy? A guy? Like, seriously? Oh. Oh. Because I don't know if that's just his defense mechanism or some kind of psychological thing on his part. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, so she's just holding a, a grudge? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> and they go straight to fighting. Wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nothing happened. Not nothing wrong happened with their face. But maybe there's some scratches. I see. So that's how she was ri raised. Makes sense now. So so I'm guessing this is going to be like her journey of becoming girly. These lines, oh my gosh. Any girl. <laughs> I mean, any girl would actually be falling head over heels over that. But this guy is just too dense to realize or recognize that she's actually a girl. But isn't that what she actually wants to happen? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Are they all just violent? <laughs> And they're all friends. <laughs> oh, they hate each other's guts. <laughs> okay, so other people actually see her as a girl. <laughs> Wrestling karate is what he can think of. <laughs> the innuendos here is just. Let's see what she thinks of it. <laughs> My gosh, the music. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's true, though. Okay, no. <laughs> but I like that. I like the hoot spawn in this guy. <laughs> Did you guys? <laughs> what in the world were they doing? 
Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay, does he realize that she's actually a girl? I kind of thought that was what you meant. My goodness, Junichiro is just so... So dense. It's... It's verging on... It's verging on just being so brazen. And dumb. But he actually does. Know that she's a girl. And he's just pretending? I don't get it. Is this his way of... You know, kind of... Maintaining their friendship and the status quo? On the same page there. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why do they sound? Why? Why do they sound like delinquents? <laughs> Oh, 
I don't trust that either. I trust her. I, I trust that she's gonna actually do that. Well, she's already in her fighting stand. <laughs> Actually, this is really good advice. <laughs> okay, the misunderstanding became had a happy ending. That was a really fun episode. I can see why a lot of people actually like this, the show, and the story itself as well. I'm not sure, because I know it's a four coma. So a lot of these are just kind of a combination of all of those, right? So there's no, it's not just per chapter. So as far as I know, when I first started reading it, but yeah, I haven't really gone far. But yeah, oh. Uh, Hmm. This is a really fun show to watch. It's kind of like, it reminds me of um, Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. And it's just, Tomo, Tomo is a little bit more, uh, uh, a, a bit manlier. 
a little bit uh, um, burly, then uh, forgot who who the the main character of that the girl in 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 Ozaki kun but because she's she she was a girly girl, um, the Chio Chio. Yeah, Chio was really was really like a girly girl, but that one's just uh, yeah. So I can see the similarities between the two. The guy is an airhead, just focuses on well, not really. Uh, no Nozaki Kun focuses a lot on just his uh, manga, right? But he does recognize that Chio is a girl. In this case, Shuichiro. He feigns ignorance, I think. I don't think he actually considers her a boy. But he just doesn't want to treat her like a girl. Which, I guess it makes sense since they've been best friends since elementary school. And he doesn't want to um, change up the status quo. Doesn't want to, you know, rock the boat. Maybe he's not ready or he's not prepared to actually take the next step toward in their friendship you know because i don't know if he, he if he can take the hints that tomo is giving him but yeah i guess from his point from his point of view she's probably sending mixed signals or like maybe not even she's probably not sending any signals that she likes him at all so maybe that's why and those very few instances when we see that he actually does recognize that Tomo is a girl, he wants to run away from it. Right? He doesn't want to to recognize it. Right? He doesn't want to admit it. Because that's going to change the dynamic of the relationship. But but the thing is, she wants the dynamic of the relationship to change. So there's this clash of desires, of goals. And it's just, I don't think at the moment there's any way for them to, to synthesize that, right? I don't think there's any way for them to, to meet, I, I mean, to, to change the status quo from just being childhood friends to becoming uh, a couple. Because there's that big barrier that you need to, to cross, right? So yeah, uh, it's probably... Uh, this one's a lot better, I think, for me, when it, in terms of comedy, at least. In terms of comedy and the potential for the romance. Because there, there have been a few other romance stories that it feels like at, at the first, at the first part, you know, the early stages of their relationship, it's just so annoying. And a few of the things that, a, a few of the shows that come to mind are, uh, to, Teasing Master Takagi-san and um, don't don't toy with me, Nag Miss Nagatoro. So there's there's those that uh, it took a while for me with with Nagatoro to actually feel a little bit fuzzy, and with uh, with Takagi, it's just it's a little bit too childish. But this one, this one is hitting the right spot, I think, in in terms of what how you're going to make your your readers and your viewers to actually feel the butterflies in their stomach right so it has those elements which makes it a really fun romance comedy it's a lot of a lot of comedy right now but you know as we've seen before there, there's going to be a lot of journeying to to progress toward before we can get to the romance and the lovey-dovey stuff but so far, I think the characters are, are okay. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a rom com, so you you can't really expect everybody to be to be like deep and profound. So they, they they all have their own archetypes and tropes. But so far, uh, I'm having fun with it, and I, I do want to I do want to I do want to see where their journey is headed how it's going to get there and just how how Junichiro is going to finally see her as a potential partner because that's the main hurdle 
Portoma at the moment. And I, and I'll, I'll, there are a lot of hints th that were given, I think, um, that there's, there's, there's a possibility that we might, uh, but, but yeah, I don't think there's going to be a third party. Although I would like there to be a third party because that's similar with, with Kimi no Todoka, right? You, for, for you to push them toward, toward that route, you want somebody to be the catalyst to kind of excite them and spark, like, like kindle the fire in them, right? But I, I don't know. Um, with Kimi no Todoka, it's it's really just the journey of Salako for now, right? In the first season, it's mostly just her becoming more more accustomed to other people, I guess, being more sociable, uh, developing new friendships. So it's not really focusing on the love life and the relation, the romantic relationship. It's just her developing as a as a human being, as a character. With this one, it's just. Tomo trying to look and uh, feel more feminine, but I don't think that's I don't think that's the solution actually. I think that she should just be how she is, but have a little bit of those moe moments, right? Those moments where you're gonna make his heart skip a beat. I think that's what she needs. Because she, do, I, I don't think she needs to change the way that she acts, or the way that she speaks right away. I mean, if she wants to, she can, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think that will change the way. I'm not sure though. For anybody, for any Japanese people out there, probably who's watching this, may, I don't know if the the speech patterns or the behavior that people do affect the way that you you perceive them or the way you see them or whether it's going to hinder someone from developing a romantic relationship with them. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't think she needs to do a lot of drastic changes to her personality or to her behavior or, or her speech patterns to get Junichiro to look her way. I, I think he already does. It's just he doesn't want to shake up the status quo and maybe he's afraid that if he starts dating her it's just going to be different and then you know it's going to realize that maybe they weren't meant for each other and stuff like that i don't know but there is a little i think i feel a little bit of hesitance within him and i do see that he does somewhat see her as a potential partner but he He's not really considering it as a plausible scenario at the moment, probably. Considering what Chi, what Tomo, has, has how she's been acting toward him. So those are just my thoughts on the matter. Um, it's been fun. So it's been a, one of the first... Uh, one of the anime with uh, first episode being this fun. I mean, Boku Yaba was really fun. And this one has the same kind of vibe. Uh, they have different comedic tones and styles, but they're both funny in their own ways. And uh, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen with uh, Tomo and Junichiro's love story. If ever there will be one, but I do hope that there is going to be one in the future. Uh, especially if you're, you're reading the manga, you know, I'm guessing you probably know what's, what's happened already. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any other recommendations for me to to watch, maybe even to read, like a manga that I can I can read, I can probably react to that as well. Uh, go ahead and comment them down below, and I'm going to see if I can squeeze them in my schedule. And see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.